Hi, Ben here at Number Group, here to go over the prompt system within the self-care. So, um, the prompt system itself is basically spread across the entirety of self-care. So you can use it within the number system and you can also use it within the PBX system. The easiest way to access it is via the numbers tab. So you log in as normal, go to numbers, and if you go and select a number, you'll see at the top here you've got prompts, but you can also access the prompt system through here. So there are four different prompts that are available in general on the system, and I'll go through each one of them now. So, you have a pre-connect prompt. This is basically a prompt that is played to any inbound caller before the call is connected. So obviously, you have an outbound leg where the call can be connected to either an external flow number, the PBX, a trunk, or whatever. The pre-connect prompt is played before that is even attempted. Now this is useful if you want to say, um, have a number that is shut down, but you don't want the calls to go anywhere, and you don't want to be charged for the call if it does connect. We would advise you use the pre-connect prompt and then set the system to not route the call anywhere. That will then pray a message to the caller. You could say, obviously say something along the lines of, you know, this this uh, this number's not, not available or whatever. And then the call will then just disconnect and you won't be charged to do that. The ringing basically allows you to override the default ringing tone that is played to the caller. So in certain circumstances you could play, for example, music if you didn't if you wanted to have music playing back to the caller rather than having a standard ring ring tone. The whisper is basically a small audio prompt that's played to the recipient of the call. And uh, and basically it's designed to be used so that people, if they're receiving calls in, they know which number has called them. Uh, and we have a variety of different prompts in each of these sections which you can use. The last one, which actually has now been moved out, it's now into the forwarding section, is the welcome prompt. And this is basically a post-connect prompt. So like the pre-connect prompt, it basically you can play any prompt you like, but it is played after the, the, the call is connected. So bearing in mind, if you put a, a post-connect prompt on there, you will be charged for the call, if obviously you're charged for connection. Now the other thing that uh, people have been asking about is how to upload your own prompts. Now to do this is very simple, you need to go into the prompt system. So you can either do that by going through here and click set, or you can go through here and click set. This will open up the prompt upload system. So this is where the existing prompts are already located. You've got various sections already available, and this is obviously the, the list of prompts within those particular sections. If you want to upload a new prompt, you click on upload a new prompt. You choose the group or the folder you want to add it to. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you add it to, but we obviously advise you to try and stick to something to try and keep it specific. So if you have one for yourself, customer specific may be a good idea, but obviously it's totally up to you. Give it a name, so whatever you want to call it. Then you need to choose the file. Now, as it says here, it can be MP3 or WAV, and the maximum file size is 10 megabytes. And then you'll obviously want to choose to normalize the volume. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this. You can leave it as it is. But we do have some suggestions on there about which ones to put it to. And then once you're done, click OK. Once that's done, your, your new prompt will then be available within the system, and you should be able to see it within the folder you've uploaded it to. If you choose to do it via this way, so if you click set and then upload in new prompt, it will automatically assign the prompt you have just uploaded to the system there. Uh, and that is pretty much it. That is basically the overview of the prompt system. Once again, you can also use prompts within the um, uh, call routing system here. So this is also mostly used within the IVR uh, layout. So you can have additional prompts here. And obviously you'll just see a big long list of all the prompts you have available. Uh, for you to choose from and then once again you can just click and then click save at the bottom to apply that okay and that's pretty much it for the uh, prompt system and as always if you have any questions or any problems with the system please either give us a call on 0800 310 1010 or email us at support at numbergroup.com